Hi, my name is David Emerson, and I'm a myeloma survivor and myeloma cancer coach. Uh, welcome to the vlog and blog uh, about um, intravenous vitamin C therapy for myeloma survivors uh, in patients. According to research, intravenous vitamin C is, uh, is cytotoxic, kills multiple myeloma. Um, three key issues um, regarding myeloma patients considering uh, intravenous vitamin C therapy. Uh, one, understand the difference between intravenous vitamin C versus oral vitamin C. We'll discuss that in a minute. Um, intravenous vitamin C is complementary therapy. Uh, I don't believe it's um, strong enough for myeloma patients to, to use it as an alternative therapy. Uh, it is not toxic, um, but it's a complementary therapy. Um, does I, does uh, the, the third uh, uh, important point, does intravenous vitamin C therapy interfere uh, with um, conventional chemotherapies in any way? We'll discuss that as well. First, um, uh, most studies um, basically show that vitamin C is um, an, an important um, antioxidant for, for people. Um, the challenge with the, those of us with multiple myeloma is that orally, it's, it's virtually impossible to get uh, serum blood levels high enough um, vitamin C in our cells just by eating uh, tablets. Um, therefore, intravenously, um, taking uh, uh, ascorbic acid intravenously gets, your, gets our blood um, serum levels high enough uh, so that the vitamin C, uh, it's cytotoxic, kills multiple myeloma. Um, so that's an important... And further, um, I don't, I think that um, myeloma patients must find uh, clinics um, to administer uh, intravenous vitamin C. It looks like, um, looks like a chemotherapy, a glycine hanging bag with a needle in your arm sitting there for the infusion time. That's sort of the, the, the process that you, that you have to go through. Okay, complementary uh, versus alternative therapies. Um, based on the studies that I've read, while intravenous vitamin C is cytotoxic to myeloma, I don't, I've never seen evidence of a myeloma patient um, fully reaching complete remission exclusively with vitamin, intravenous vitamin C therapy as his or her own only therapy. Um, it can be um, a complementary therapy to, um, to undergo intravenous vitamin C in addition to any other therapies you're doing, whether there are other complementary therapies such as exercise, supplementation, detoxification, nutrition, um, conventional therapies uh, such as chemo, um, Velcade, Revlimid, thalidomide, um, et cetera. But it's not to be um, an alternative therapy. Um, finally, um, I've read studies, um, some that say that intravenous vitamin C does not conflict. Some that say intravenous vitamin C does um, conflict, especially uh, with a chemo called Velcade. Um, regardless of how you feel, the thing to do is to just make sure that you don't undergo intravenous vitamin C therapy within 24 hours of conventional chemotherapy. Um, stop or don't do it for you know the previous one, two, three, four days, and then you can pick up again after. Um, don't even run the risk. There's no there's no benefit to it. So, um, to summarize, um, intravenous vitamin C is an as an evidence based um, complementary therapy that um, is non toxic and should be relatively inexpensive, accessible, um, should uh, enhance your, your quality of life, should perhaps um, lengthen or deepen remissions in between um, conventional therapies. Um, 
If you have any questions about intravenous vitamin C, scroll down the page, uh, post a question or a comment, your own personal experience. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. I will reply to your post um, as soon as possible. I appreciate your time, and um, I'd like to work with you. Thanks. Bye.